hello everyone, it's Andrew here, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Synthesia, which is a professional tool for creating AI videos from text and turning them into speech alongside AI presenters. It's used by a bunch of big companies, as you can see here, and making the videos is really easy. It's just a case of selecting your presenter, typing or pasting in your script, and then generating the video. So let's log in and take a look. So when you first log in, this is what you'll see. You can choose from some of the templates they've got here, quizzes, explainers, five-step process, case studies, and all sorts. And these are the recent videos I've been messing about with. And then you could import from PowerPoint up here, or go on to create a new video, which we'll do later. But first of all, let's go and just have a look at some of the avatars, so you get an idea of what sort of quality Synthesia is offering. So Anna is the default, so let's have a look. We'll just play a few seconds. Hello, my name is Anna. This is a preview of what your video will look like. Click the Create button to get started. And let's scroll down and choose somebody else. Let's try Charlotte. Hello, my name is Charlotte. This is a preview of what your video will look like. Click the Create button to get started. And how about Kyle? Hello. This is a preview of what your video will look like. Click the Create button to get started. And let's go for one more in a different language. As you can see, there's loads of them down here to choose from. How about James? And we'll go for Spanish. Hola, mi nombre es James. Esta es una vista previa de cómo se verá tu video. Haz clic en el botón Crear para comenzar. So there we are. You can see it's really good quality. I'm not sure if my video capture is going to uh, show just how accurate the lip syncing is with the text, but it is pretty convincing. So let's just go with Anna again. We'll stick with Anna and we'll create a video and we'll see what creating a video is like. So this is the video workspace, and as you can see here, you can choose the avatars here, lots of different uh, types of people and personality types. It would be nice to, to filter them by gender, age, type of voice, that kind of thing, as I've seen in other AI tools, but I'm sure you can have a look through and you'll quickly find a favorite that you might like to suit your business. So, in any case, here's Anna, and the first thing we want to do is just type in or paste some text at the bottom. So, I'm just going to paste in some text that I've taken from a BBC News article. And at the bottom here, we can choose a language, and also a type uh, of delivery. So we've got Australia. US English, Filipino English, all sorts, and then let's show you how you can uh, edit the video itself. So here's Anna, and we can choose that she could be full body, a circle in the corner, you can drag that about and position it any way you like. And we'll go back. Or we'll just choose to have a voice only. And with the full body here, we can go to left or right, or make it small or big. 
And also we can drag that around as well. And then we can choose the background. You can either choose a color or search for a color. Search Unsplash for an image. Let's go for a white cafe. You can search pixels for a video background or upload your own image to or video for the background. You could also add text to the video, just some simple video editing here. Add a title. And then once you select the text, you can choose the font, letter spacing, line spacing, font size, all that kind of stuff. The color, opacity, shadow, that kind of stuff, basic stuff. And we've also got shapes that you can add for any reason. And you can also add images, as I said. Just click to add, and then you can drag them around, choose the size. And you can also add background music if you like. There's a fair selection, pretty limited really here, but you can also upload your own. And then when you're done, you can play to preview or just generate the video. So let's play and see how it sounds. An autonomous drone has helped to save the life of a 71-year-old man who was suffering a cardiac arrest. The drone delivered a defibrillator to a doctor helping the man who became ill while... As you can see in the preview, in the draft version, we don't get the animation in the AI presenter, but you do get a feel for how the voice is going to be. And when you generate the video, that's where you get the full result. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is that you can add different slides and then on each slide you can choose a different presenter and new text if you wish. So it all depends how you want to structure your video. And depending on the payment plan, which you uh, will have a look at afterwards, uh, that will um, determine how many slides you get and how much text you can use in your videos. So let's just generate this video so we can have a look at it. Oops, I'll have to delete this one because it's got an empty script. So let's just generate this and have a look. Test three. You can include captions if you want. So this is going to take seven minutes to process. So once it's done, we'll come back and have a look. Once you've started generating a video, it will appear in your recent videos in your account and you can see the percentage going up here. So six minutes to go, not long, and we'll come back when it's done. And we're back and the video is ready. It said it would take eight minutes, but actually it took a lot less, a couple of minutes. And I got an email to tell me that it was ready. So let's take a look. An autonomous drone has helped to save the life of a 71-year-old man who was suffering a cardiac arrest. The drone delivered a defibrillator to a doctor helping the man, who became ill while shoveling snow outside his house in Trollhattan, Sweden. The man, who didn't wish to be named, told the BBC it was fantastic that it arrived so quickly. And then we can download it, or duplicate it, or... If we visit the video page, we can enable sharing of the video, or we can duplicate it, or create a template from it. And, which I also like, you can add a call to action here. So, if you share this video, then you can add a call to action button, and a URL where you want people to visit afterwards. So it could be a product page, or a course sign-up, or 
whatever you like. So as far as the the um, the quality of the result is, I think it's pretty convincing. It's not going to be a hundred percent like a human, but I think for most um, applications, it really is quite convincing and pretty good. Um, one other thing I wanted to show you was that if you click on the What's New section down here, you can see that it's being updated and supported really quite frequently. So we've got new avatars down here, three new avatars. That was 15 days since I recorded, uh, before I recorded. The ability to add closed captions, which is really good. That was added just 16 days ago. A color picker for your video slides, more avatars, new templates, improved text editor, all kinds of stuff. So really good. Um, let's take a look at the pricing of Synthesia. So it's not the cheapest option out there. For personal users, which I am, there's a $30 per month uh, charge. So for that, you get uh, 10 video credits per, mo per month. And one video credit is one minute of video. And videos can be up to 10 minutes long. And then you get everything that's listed here then. Text to video, 50 plus languages, 40 plus avatars, 25 plus templates, custom backgrounds, background music, the downloads, the sharing, text options, uh, stock images, import from PowerPoint, and up to six slides per video. I was mentioning that about the slides earlier. That's enough for me, and I think it really does give really nice results. And then here's the, the corporate uh, pricing, the corporate option where there's custom pricing depending on your needs. So if that's something that interests you, then you can get in touch. That's Synthesia, a text-to-speech uh, AI tool, which I think is really cool and improving all the time. Um, if you'd like to check it out, there's a link in the description, so uh, give that a click and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks very much for watching and goodbye.